Under certain conditions of temperature and pressure, 15 mils of neon gas effuses completely in 42.1 minutes. Under the same conditions, 28.6 mils of another gas, Z2, effuses through the same hole in 75.5 minutes. What's the molar mass of Z2? So what we want to do is, um, this is Graham's law of effusion. So one way to approach this is just to simply start with our equation. So we know the molar mass of Z2 over the molar mass of neon. If we take the square root of that quantity, that's going to equal the rate of effusion through this hole of neon. And it's a cross, so it's going to be a cross. And this is going to be the rate of Z2. So I've set it up so that the molar mass of Z2 is on top in my equation. Um, otherwise, if I was looking for the molar mass of, Z of neon, I'd put it on top. So that's how we usually set up our equation. What we want to do now is look at the rate. So let's just take the rate of neon. That's going to equal 15.0 milliliters, and I'm just going to go ahead and solve for rate now. It'll make the um, math easier. That's 42.1 uh, milliliter uh, minutes on the bottom. So that equals 0.356 milliliters per minute. Okay, and then the rate of Z2 is going to equal, I'm going to take 28.6 milliliters, and that was in 75.5 minutes. So its rate is 0.378 milliliters per minute. So it's a little slower. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and plug that into my equation. So I'm going to take point. 356 milliliters per minute. That's going to cancel in a minute. It's very important that these are the same units. It doesn't matter if it's milliliters per minute or gallons per second. It doesn't matter. As long as both units are the same, then they'll cancel out. Over 0.378 milliliters per minute. So double check to make sure that I have neon on top, I do. Okay, so that's going to, and if I square that, so I'm just going to go ahead and square both sides of, of my equation here, that's going to equal the molar mass of Z2, whatever that is, divided by the molar mass of neon, which is 20.18 grams per mole. Okay, as I already said, um, milliliters per minute will cancel. So when we solve this, the molar mass of Z2 is equal to 17.9 grams per mole.